for long spells, Stansler Sokrut has been battling heart disease. Early this week, he underwent a surgery at Mulago Hospital. However, this morning, he breathed his last at his home in Minister's Village in Tinder. They admitted him last Sunday, and then on Monday, they put a pacemaker. They said there was something about his heart not being regular. Then on Wednesday, they discharged him. They said he was responding well and that now he could go home. This morning, he called me and, and he was not breathing well. Okrut has been husband to Gender Minister Mary Karoro Okrut and held several ministerial dockets in the NRM regime, including labor, works and sport. In 1987, when a rebel group called Uganda People's Army emerged in his region of Teso, President Museveni tasked him to hold peace talks with them, but he was later abducted with his colleagues, some of whom died during captivity. According to Karoro, that incident would change his life forever. They kept him for nine months. Actually, ever since that time, he never became his self. Hmm? Because they tortured him. I remember the president gave me money. I took him to London when he was in hospital for several months. He, he really never became himself. Friends and relatives eulogized him as a great man, parent and leader. The entire Abushenyu community is saddened by the news. But... Uh, we want to thank God for the gift of life of Stan Rasokrutu and uh, for all what he has done for this country. A very hospitable man, a very cheerful man, um, loving to his family, but uh, above all, I think, putting service above self. But by the time I have known the rent, I found him a very, very strict man, as I said, trustworthy and reliable. In his last words, Okrut said when he is dead, it is his wish that his body is not taken to parliament for public viewing. His body is still in Mlago Hospital as preparations for his burial are underway. Solomon Kawesa, NTV Weekend Edition. <laughs>